Welcome back to our final bit of action now from SWAT Corps and the double header Extreme Festival. And we head to the big bangers. SKF, Legends of the Nine Hour, the V8s, the Sports and GTs, Trans Am, and the International Sports Prototypes. Jonathan Detoy and Mark Detoy will be looking to get to the front end and battle hard, but in slightly different machinery. Remember, Jonathan will be in an International Sports Prototype and Mark will be in a Sports and GT category car. So the Chevron versus the Lola Spider, and we're on board with Mark Detoy in that T70 Spider now. Lights go out, we go racing, drop the hammer time. And even though it's got a little bit of extra squirt, the Lola T70 Spider uses that inside line, which we've seen all day long has been the better line to start from. And he has to go ahead and fight hard to keep his brother at bay. Ben Morganut into third place. Behind him comes Peter Bailey. And then you've got Chad Tender Chate fighting hard there as well in the Cobra Daytona Coupe. Josh Dovey, Neil Lobb, and a maneuver up the inside there coming through rapidly. On oh, Chad Tender Chate was Neil Lobb in the second of the Lolas. That's the normal Lola, not the Spider option as they head down into turn four. He is applying pressure and trying to get through there. And you can see Ben Morgan who just sitting pretty at the moment in third place. But that 917 and the Lola are coming fast. And it's gonna be a little bit of a changeup. Ha oh, watch out in the background. Keep an eye out on Henny Grunewald. Henny Grunewald stepping out of uh, his Alpha, we've just seen him in, into the Mercury Comet and looking to come through the field. Ben Morganut in the Mustang, keeping out for now the 917 Porsche of Peter Bailey. Mark Detoy under big pressure, Jono trying to find a way through. Chevron B8 versus Lola T70 Spider. Oh, what a battle of X multiple championship winning cars. Both of these cars have won the uh, TT here at SWAT Cops. And both of them, of course, with the two brothers that fight so hard in Trans Africa Racing when they're on track. Detoy. That's Jono, moves slightly wide, takes a different line, coming out of turn two. The same thing happens there with Bailey. He gets ahead of uh, Morgan Newton. Can he keep it all together? Yes, he can. Morgan Newton trying to keep that Mustang around the outside of him. Watch him squeeze up onto the braking markers into turn four and maybe get ahead. Detoy hangs onto the lead. Mark ahead of Jono. But Jono is applying huge pressure. And now comes alongside into Sassel. Has a big look. Doesn't quite make it sick this time. Putting on a big show here for the crowd. The Chevron versus the Lola T70. And that T70 Spider. Uh, catch me if you can. I don't know if he's going to be able to catch him. Catching is easy. Getting past is not going to be. Now, will he try a little squirt down into turn eight? No. GNH Transport will have to wait a little bit longer before we see Jono try and outgun his brother for first and second place on track. Oh, Henny Krunewald now starting to pile the pressure. He comes up on the back end of a hard charging Alpha. And I can tell you, Mark Miller's not going to make it easy for him. Just behind, we can see the Porsche in there as well. Good to see a little bit of fighting right the way through this field. And Ben van der Veste is also not too far off the back end. They come under braking now, hard onto the back end. There he is, Krunewald, around the outside. Can he find a way through there on Campos? No, he can't. And the 13 car on the inside there is Jeff Kruger. Kruger and Krunewald are now starting to chop and change and slide into the corners, almost uh, drifting style. Here we go, Detroit versus Detroit. Mark goes defensive, he's on the inside and I think he might be out here. Yeah. Listen to it, yes, there it is, the Chevron on the inside. Gets through on Mark Detroit. Jono takes the lead now for a while. Let's see if Mark's got an answer to the Chevron. Through this part of the circuit, the Chevron is definitely gonna have the handling ability. There's no doubt about it. But Mark Detoy is not going to let his brother get away with that. That is for sure. Down onto the braking markers into GNH Transport Corner. And starting a last couple of laps here between these two. Absolutely nothing in it between the two Detoys. They're giving the show of note. There's that little Janetta. That is Josh Dovey. He's now under pressure from Campos. Campos all over the back of that little uh, smaller machine and goes on the inside to drive to try and get through. Has he been able to do it? Yes, he just gets up there. Dovey doesn't give him much room though. That Janetta has got great handling, but the Porsche just had the better line. Now onto the brakes into turn two. You can see, you can see a maneuver coming here any second now. Campos, oh, here comes Kruger. Kruger in the Chevelle. The smoky Unix Chevelle taking on that Mercury Comet. Oh, NASCAR style, side by side. Further back, another one of the Tom Camper machines. That is uh, Vic Camper at the wheel this time. He shared it with Alan Poulter all day long. The Marauder in the mix now and starting to apply pressure. He can see putting Michiel Simmons under a bit of pressure too in the Ford GT40. Oh, this is great. Look at this. Oh man, that is fantastic stuff. Kruger and Henny G sideways. Lighten those big tires up. Chenda Chate now under pressure from Campos. Campos dives on the inside. The Daytona Coupe has no answer. The Porsche had the better line. Chad, I think, will probably start to feel the effects now of this race in terms of brakes. 
and the tyre starting to cook. Coming down on the braking mark is Yosef falling into the clutches. And as I said that, he gets it sideways. He keeps it all together. No, he gets onto the dirty stuff. Oh, Chad Tendershot, you nearly had it. He just rolled off and that rear wheel drive car came straight off the circuit into the clutches of the hard charging Alpha and then straight into the line of the two big V8s fighting hard. It's now Jeff Kruger just ahead of Henny and the two of them still sideways. This is Tendershate. Keep an eye out. Jeff Kruger might be on the inside. No, Tendershate is out of shape. He gets completely out of shape. Here comes Henny Grunewald and Jeff Kruger. And the second of those Dotano Coupes. What a good drive there from Eddie Perk. Now, Eddie Perk's come all the way from the United Kingdom. He's one of uh, the Detroit's guests for the weekend. And great to see him having so much fun out there in the second of those Daytona Coupes. No worries at all for this man. Since he's got to the front, he's pulled a little bit of a margin now on Mark Detoy's brother and is getting away rapidly, heading towards the chicken flag. Detoy is going to hang on for the win. Mark Detoy is going to take second place. But of course, each of them will get their respective wins in their categories. ISP is going to Jonathan Detoy and the overall victory in the Chevron V8. The Sports and GT class will go to Mark Detoy for second overall. And ISP's Class B will go to Peter Bailey, who eventually will come across the line in the 917 in the background for third overall on track. Great driving out of the Legends of the Nine now. Incredible stuff. Morgan Root there in fourth place. Beats out Chad Tendershate. Then it was Josh Dovey, Neil Lobb, and Clive Densham. Just keeping Jeff Kruger, Eddie Perk, and Palter at bay. Let's catch up with Henny G. It's been about six months since we were here last with the Comet, and... Uh... You know, it always seems to be a lot of fun. We, uh, we're out there now with Jeffrey um, side by side and Clive Densham with a smaller car giving us the go with the V8s. But, you know, always uh, so much fun with these old cars, um, you know, cars that are, are so much fun to drive. They're lively on the rear axle. And uh, until we had a problem there with a the tyre that uh, totally delaminated, uh, it was really uh, a tight dice between me and Jeffrey. First in sports and GT and second overall, Mark Detoy. Wonderful start. The Lola's got a lot of power. We've just had the engine redone and uh, kept the head of my brother there for a bit. Then he came through, and I battled with him right until the end. Tires started getting a bit old towards the end there, and Peter, Peter Bailey was right behind me, but uh, great race, I really enjoyed it. We certainly hope you enjoyed all the action from the Extreme Festival, proudly brought to you by Investcam and SKF.